Good morning, it's only Cavedris again, ITS. Two weeks on, I'm back at New Street Bowling Green for a very important day. It's a couple of weeks since the lawn sand went on and we're now going to go through the main spring renovation procedures today of vertical teeing, spiking and the application of the spring soil conditioner. So Before we can on. start any of today's operations, we're going to have to pick up the debris uh, that was the aftermath of yesterday's storm. I'll just show you the snow on the Pennines. But that's an indication of the kind of weather we had yesterday with some massive winds and it's left a lot of twi uh, twigs and debris on the green. So before we start the operation and to ensure that it doesn't damage the scarifier or the mower, uh, Matt and Ray are going through the process now of picking up every little twig we possibly can before we can start today's operation. So the first part of today's very important maintenance operation involves the verticutting of the green. When I say verticutting I do not mean scarifying. Scarifying is the same kind of mechanical action, action sorry, but where the blades of the machine are actually going under the surface to rip out as much uh, thatch and surface debris as possible. Verticutting doesn't go under the surface and the kind of finish that I've asked the lads to achieve is the one where the blades are literally kissing the surface of the turf. If I pan around, the green has been done already in one direction and I'm hoping the camera will show up the pattern that the, the blades have left behind. So we're literally just kissing the surface as opposed to going under the surface. I have noticed the occasional leather jacket lying on the surface. Uh, not enough to cause uh, any consternation at all, but just be aware that anyone who's seen any crane flies lying around, uh, flying around at the back end of last year, ideally should have sprayed the greens for leather jackets. Uh, if numbers get too high, they can cause damage. These grubs uh, chew on the white fresh roots, which we're trying to encourage this season. So they're not a good thing to find in the green. And in Matt's hand now is a quite a mature leather jacket. Well, the next stage of the operation is the spiking, which Ray is doing. Now the spiker is a little bit of a homemade contraption, more similar to a sorrel roller type finish than a spiker finish. So maybe it's not the, the ideal tool for the job, but hey, it's better than nothing. And he's making some imprints onto the turf, holes at approximately two inch centres. So we're making some dimples in the ground which I hope you can see and the purpose of the spiking is A to pave the way for the application of the soil conditioner which will take place shortly but it's also to allow some gaseous exchange uh, i.e. let some oxygen in towards the roots and let some carbon dioxide out from the roots because April is the month of maximum root production and May is the time of maximum shoot production. This is a very important operation which I recommend that every bowling green does as frequently as possible but particularly at this time of the year. The next important part of the spring renovation is the application of a suitable soil conditioner. This particular soil conditioner is a beautiful blend of uncomposted seaweed meal and greens grade gypsum. The whole purpose of applying the soil conditioner is to maximize the efforts of mother nature and to try and get the best out of spring. 
because my philosophies are that if you get the best out of the spring, the rest of the season tends to fall into place a lot more easily. So as April is the month of maximum root production and May is the month of maximum shoot production, applying the soil conditioner at the right time, and this is early April, is very, very important because the blend of seaweed and gypsum will encourage both rooting and shooting in a few weeks time.